Jamie Tyler and I met while I was doing my work for the police academy and training. And I just wanted, I just have to tell this story. Right. He was um, an officer taking the training and realized how important mental health was. We connected and come to find out, because I did not know this when I was training him in my class, that he was a homicide detective on Ayana's case. Won't God do it? Y'all can't tell me that God puts everything together. I train hundreds of officers every week. And an officer that was on my daughter's case five years later sitting in my class. That it don't stop there. Let me just tell you how amazing God is. And so you can see how amazing Jamie and his family is. So we, we, um, we, he asked me about being on his show. So but I know most of y'all know Love and Marriage DC. Y'all might not admit y'all watching, but I know. <laughs> Love and Marriage DC. Um, me and his wife are here, but he invited me to be on the show, and hopefully you got to see this in, um, session. But if you didn't, season three, episode eight, <laughs> I'm on that. and um, I got a chance to do some counseling for Jamie and his friends. It was amazing, and these are Jamie's words, not mine. It was the best episode. Jamie's <laughs> I mean. So Jamie, just bear with me. I gotta, I gotta give him everything. So that that was one thing. And um, so we did an amazing, Jamie, the impact was so amazing. Jamie decided to do a foundation for mental health. That's his heart, y'all. That's his heart because he knew. And then I got the opportunity to meet his wife and his children, and they are just as amazing. So the designs you see was, a, was as a result of Irena being a blessing to us as well, at no cost. When I say he also opened up his media for me and made sure that we got the platform for the foundation and gun violence as well as mental health, I just can't thank him enough. And I just had to, y'all, I want y'all to understand why he might be best friend. But that, without further ado, let me introduce y'all to the ambassador, celebrity ambassador of the Ayana J. McAllister Legacy Foundation, Mr. Jamie Todd. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Miss Tyrese. That's not my song. I know who I rock with. Yeah, my song is it. How's everybody doing? Good. Good. One second. I'll show you how I come out. You ready, DJ? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Miss 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 Miss. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Give yourself an applause for being here. This is amazing. God, you did it. I am so honored to be a part of this today. She told me to come out and say a few words before we get dressed and give y'all this amazing fashion show. Um, it's an honor to be here to celebrate our young. And you took everything I was going to say for the record. Yes, we did meet. I didn't meet her the day of the, the incident. My assignment was actually the autopsy. So I did not meet the family until I took that class. And like she said earlier, anybody that has to take in service, training in their job, kicking and screaming and don't want to go, that was me. So I was like, why I gotta go? I'm already tired. I don't want to go. So my officials were like, you gotta go. Everybody has to do it. So I go and I, and I say the presentation that I put on, it, it just moved me. And I said, I said, Doc. And she didn't even tell me she knew who I was. You remember that? I was like, 
By the way, I'm on this TV show. So I know who you are. <laughs> so I said, um, would you mind doing a scene if I can get it, you know, through production? And she said, absolutely. I said, because I want what you're doing to be in front of the world. Everybody needs to hear this message. And my boss, Miss Winfrey, and Carlos King, they agreed. And episode eight, on episode eight, Season three episode. <laughs> the best episode of this season. I don't care what nobody said. And I, I want to thank my colleagues who also participated, but um, that wasn't easy. Reality TV is not easy. Um, my family sitting over here, Mama T, Brittany, my mother, Sylvia, and my pop, Joe. Who I said, over there? Mike's family. But um, I only had a minute to just come say hi to you guys. But the importance of today, guys, we have to take all uh, lives, all incidents serious. Um, all these incidents matter, not just the ones in Northwest, on the, with, in the gentrified neighborhoods. All these incidents matter, and me doing 25 years in Washington, D.C., uh, five and a half years in homicide, uh, four years as seven district detectives. I've been on a lot of violent scenes, and unfortunately, these scenes do not make the news. In these, in these project areas. And um, all of those cases matter. <clears throat> they matter to me, they should matter to you. And uh, a Yana case still matters to me seven years later. Um, I would love for, I know it's in cold case now, but I would love for them to do a new, a new updated news segment in that community, because somebody out there saw what happened. And unfortunately, seven years later, it's still not solved. But, um, I don't want to be too down today because we're celebrating your life. And I think the universe put me here today in front of you guys. So, 